just thinking back to uh, my formative days in Oklahoma and how I learned about a certain sonority that that brought me to in uh, harmony with my environment. In Oklahoma, it's really, really flat. <laughs> Plainer. It's so flat, I could watch my dog run away for three days. <laughs> And that was, you know, the more humorous uh, interpretation of the word, but I heard a chord that was flatter than that. And it was, you know, it, it, it did expand my mind. So I tried to play it on the guitar. It was a little bit difficult because to, to bring it about a, a, a sonorous representation of the chord on, on my instrument because it was originally contained or written for a piano concerto by a Hungarian who's uh, long gone. His name is Bela Bartok. And so I was looking at the score, the orchestral notes, and here was this chord, six notes, so widely spread apart that, you know, it had to, it had to broaden, broaden you. So I thought, well, six notes, So I tried to play it, and it was so far apart that I, I could finger it, but I had nothing left to strum with. <laughs> so I decided to tune my guitar to the chord, approach it to, yeah, I got smart. <laughs> Then I took this chord down to the basement, hooked it up to an amplifier, put my little swirl box in it and made it swirl. And just got high. <laughs> to the point where mom and dad were going, you know, like, oh, he's down there with that chord again. <laughs> At least we know his hands are somewhat busy on the instrument. <laughs> so uh, pretty soon I decided, well, I got to do something with this chord. And I looked and found out, you know, went back to the score, found out what Bartok did with the notes. And he took them in groups of three and moved them in similar motion. He moved them in opposing motions. He moved them in oblique motion. And so I thought, well, <laughs> 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 so here's what I came up with. <laughs> 